do you ever have that time in your life when everything just seems to be spiraling out of control and so you're trying to take back control by like just redoing your whole house that was me this month I just well what can I say you know you go throughout the house and you're just trying to figure out okay is this worth keeping um, I read a beautiful quote that um, kind of has been my inspiration this past month and it was something along the lines of if it isn't useful if it isn't beautiful then don't keep it in your house and it's kind of like the whole KonMari thing which is keep what sparks joy um, but for me it just the it's not really clutter it's just a mess a simple children's mess kind of like what the floor is right now we have books left out that the kids didn't put back after they were done reading this morning we have blankets that uh, they came out and wrapped themselves in a burrito to read their book with this morning and then we have the baby's toys that um, I was trying to do our family devotions and I dumped out the whole box of toys so that he would just be quiet while I got the devotions read but and then I look around and I'm ready to pull my hair out uh, breakfast stuff is still just strewn all over the table uh, my coffee is in the microwave for the first time this morning and to be honest guys you just get to that point where you're like get rid of it all I just want to start fresh that's not a good attitude so take that from me and then learn from me but uh, this past month I was trying to think really hard about what I want to bring in especially with the whole one box challenge Thing happening now some of the stuff that I got rid of this month is actually just stuff that people have given me uh, to sell or they thought I might be able to use and to be honest I kind of looked at it and was just like okay I'm not gonna be able to sell this or um, I didn't want to deal with it there that's the simple truth so uh, the footage you're gonna see after this is just the stuff that I have accumulated I do have a box of books that I am trying to sell they're just things that I am not going to be using af after all or um, we're done reading with them and because I can just cycle through them so easily I will do that um, but if you're new to my channel coming from the whole one box challenge welcome I am a mama five and I homeschool and we live in our house every single day so a lot of what I'm getting rid of just has to kind of do a to kind of deal with that. Also, um, I don't know what else I was going to say, but this is my box and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gives you inspiration to just go and, and do your own. Um, take a small box, take a large box. I always think that I'm really good at staying on top of decluttering and then something like this comes up where you're uh, motivated to fill a box and you're just like wow I had more than I thought I did so uh, take a bag take a box just go and do it you know feel that relief of knowing that you are not having to take care of this amount of stuff anymore it's out of your life um, anyway thank you let's show you the footage of what I've been getting rid of maybe it'll inspire you that's the whole point in this video is just to be inspired to go and do your own and inspire one inspire one another in making these videos. All right, let's get started. So let me tell you a little story. Once upon a time, there was a wonderful nine-year-old girl who decided she was going to go and declutter the house. So, let me show you how she decluttered. But let me tell you the second half of the story. Her five-year-old brother saw that she decluttered the house, and so he decided to go and declutter his room, his stuff. So let me show you something. This is the back of my van. We have one, two, three, four, and some miscellaneous stuff here. This is how much they decided to declutter. Now, do I know what is in these things? No. Am I a little bit nervous about that? Absolutely. Am I going to dig through them and find out what's in here? You bet your bottom dollar I'm not going to do that. Okay, I'm not going to be getting into that, but this is...
just one box of stuff that we have that I, I will be getting rid of. Um, Mama, come to your room. I'm just kind of tired of picking these up off the floor, so those will go. There's some clothes in here. There's some shoes that are too small. And you can kind of see how big this box is. So this is a box. Let me show you the back of my car. And here's the back of my car. I have a couple sacks here, a bigger sack here, a box here, and I'm actually not going to move my camera over because then I have a couple bags of recycling that we need to take to the recycling place, and it just looks like trash, to be honest. So, I think that's it for my one box challenge. Um, I appreciate Rachel from uh, Sweet and Simple Home opening this up to all of us, and again, the purpose of it is to inspire others to go and do it. So, guys, grab a box and get going. Bye. Alright guys, I showed you my first load. And this is another load that I'm going to be taking to the thrift store, donate to the library, and then take to my local bookstore. So, it's kind of amazing how when you think you're done, and you kind of just adapt yourself to that, and then you can find more. So, don't give up. Always keep going. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.